Bonjour, welcome to Voila Macarons. Meet Diana Natale. Her search for an indulgent sweet treat has led her to an award-winning business here in Peoria. I have not gone to pastry school or anything. I just really knew what I wanted. Um, we moved around. My husband works for Caterpillar. We moved around quite a bit. Um, and I grew up in Europe, so I knew what I wanted and I knew how they need to taste for me. And the last time that we repatriated 2019, just before COVID time, I was a bit in that uh, phase where I was getting mad that nothing was in the grocery stores and I missed that European taste and I missed the healthier dessert that's not full of preservatives and that's really handmade and artisan made and um, it's fresh and not just frozen. Through research and trial and error, she created her favorite recipes and ended up with more than 45 flavors of macarons. I like to do a lot of seasonal flavors. Uh, Valentine's is coming up, right? So we will have a lot of the white chocolate raspberries, the darker chocolate, milk chocolates, white chocolates, just in general, the heavier truffle flavors. Um, and then Christmas was beautiful, right? Because you have all the gingerbreads and eggnogs and, and all the Christmassy mint flavors. So why macarons? It was a family decision. I think um, just because they're a unique little cookie with an attitude and my, my daughter Maya likes to match that attitude sometimes in a good way. But yes, I think that um, Maya loves helping in the store. She loves being here, giving me a hand on Saturdays and uh, she loves explaining the flavors. My son is the one who puts a lot of the boxes together and, you know, stickers on and Gets, gets all that background stuff going. And yes, they do absolutely love taste testing. I really love these. Um, they're drizzled and have a nice little accent to them. I do um, try to make my macarons less sweet. So I cut down on the sugar, the original recipes did definitely have more sugar in them and I tried to cut down on that. Diana put the You Gotta See This team to work and even had me decorate some of her delicious champagne macarons. But something just didn't sound right. I had noticed that you pronounce it differently. Most people, like I thought it was macaroon uh -huh. and, and you say macaron. Uh -huh. What's the difference? Yes, so macaroon typically is your coconut um, cookie, the little coconut dessert that's um, amount and then you dip it in chocolate, I think. Okay. The French macaron is just a different pronunciation. The way it's spelled, it's just that uh, you pronounce it not with a double O, O in a long macaroon, macaroon, but you probably would rather say macaron. But in the US, that's what we, I think, envision it being, it's sounding French. Because or, we're trying to sound French, you think maybe, we say macaroon? Maybe because that's what we envision in the U.S., that it's uh, it's it's a macaroon, right? right? And we don't really talk a lot about the coconut macar macaroons. No. Which is a sad because, you know, we should talk more about them. They're a fun cookie too. So macaron is your French macaron, the little cookies that been, we've been talking about earlier. And then this is your shredded coconut cookie. So if you like had to explain to someone who's never had a macaron, okay. like how would you describe it? It's a dessert that's gluten-free by nature, but it doesn't taste gluten-free. It's a dessert that is a little petite bite or two. I make them a tad bigger than the French ones. The French ones are usually really tiny. So maybe that's a difference too, as you asked me earlier. Mm -hmm. I make them a bit bigger, but I do feel that in times where, you know, we have at the moment, it's nice to get something a bit extra for the money you're spending and earning. Mm -hmm. It's therapeutic, right? Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, there's something about creating something pretty yes. and you know that people are going to get joy out of it. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. And that's what kept me going, I think, after all, when I realized it's more work than 
um, just fun when you make more of them, right? But right. the feedback from the community and the true joy that um, you see in people's faces when they come up to you and tell you, it made my day and it just made everything so much better and it was, it, it felt like we are making it special. Trust us, these macaroons will give a little luxury to your day. Mm. That's really good. And I'm going to take Amy's and Kayla's too.